Dual Power was released on April 3rd, 2019. This set introduced numerous powerful cards that boasted a wide variety of strategies, while also providing some imports from the OCG. Additionally, the Order of the Spellcaster Structure Deck was released on April 19th, 2019, giving further support and probably the best support to the Endymion archetype. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh's past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! As time marches ever forward, we find ourselves inching closer and closer to Toss format. We've spoken a lot about Toss format, so named because of the top four decks being Thunder, Orcist, Sky Striker, and Salaman Great. But so far, Orcist has been kind of missing. That's because it has been an Azathoth deck that attempts to use the Phantom Knights of Rank Up Magic launch to turn a copy of Redoer into a copy of Azathoth, a card that will not remain legal for long, and because it's missing one very specific card that comes out in Darkness Neostorm, that is Dingirsu, Orcist of the Evening Star. Now that we've exhausted the matchups that took place prior to the release of that set, we're going to look at a very specific format for this episode. This is the first place list from YCS Knoxville, an event that took place after the release of Dark Neostorm. I know you all have Orcist on the brain, but I feel we would be remiss if we didn't look over the final form of this big amalgamation of dragon-type link enablers. Crusadia Danger Thunder Dragon Link is an impressively powerful combo deck. It's not difficult to see how the Sekka list you see in front of you was able to take down YCS Knoxville, especially in the hands of a capable pilot like Jesse Cotton. Prior to this episode, we've explored decks that are similar to this one, but none as comprehensive as what you see in front of you. The Crusadias were the missing piece in this combo deck, three copies of Reclusia and one copy of Crusadia Drago, alongside Crusadia Magus. If you're unfamiliar with the Crusadias, this series of monsters can summon themselves to the link point of a link monster you control. And Crusadia Magus, if you summon a monster to its link point, allows you to add a Crusadia from your deck to your hand. Crusadia Drago on special summon adds a Crusadia from your graveyard back to your hand, and notably is a level 4 or lower dragon, perfect for making LP or Pisty. Finally, Crusadia Reclusia is a free piece of link material that also enables you to pop an opponent's card if you so desire. This gave the deck the ability to chew through problem monsters, the ability to start combos on a whim, and a true explosivity that was so unrivaled it eventually attracted hits. So what's the goal of this deck? Well, like the similar decks that we've showcased on this channel, we're aiming to use these special summonable monstrosities alongside extremely powerful cards like the Danger Monsters, the Thunder Dragons, and of course some general Dragon Link stuff like Wyver Burster, Collapse Serpent, Chaos Dragon Levineer, Omni Dragon Brotar, Eclipse Wyvern, and Darkest Diabolos Lord of the Lair in order to put up impressive boards aided by now banned cards like Gar Dragon Agrippin. The end result is an incredibly malleable deck with almost an infinite number of combo starters and extenders aided by cards like Saruya Skulldred, which smooth out tough hands. Post-board, things only get better for this deck as it's able to deep draw into cards like Eradicator Epidemic Virus and put Sky Striker Pilots on blast. Let's go through the individual cards. We're playing three copies of Crusadia Reclusia, one Crusadia Draco, one Danger Bigfoot, three Danger Nessie, three Danger Jackalope, and three Danger Chusinoko. Now, I have definitely resolved this card incorrectly on this show, and I pledge to do my best to not forget how it works. We've got three copies of Battery Man Solar, which on normal or special allows you to send a Thunder Monster from your deck to the graveyard. We don't really have a lot of good normals in this deck. Normally our Reclusia is fine, but we'd prefer just to special summon it. So it's nice to have Solar as a way to get our Thunder part of the deck into rotation. Three Thunder Dragon, two Thunder Dragon Dark, two Thunder Dragon Roar, one Hawk, and one Duo. Three! legal copies of White Dragon Wyver Burster, which can banish a dark monster from your graveyard in order to summon itself, and if it's sent to the graveyard adds, a Black Dragon Collapse Serpent, which can banish a Light to do the same thing. You can only summon one of these monsters once per turn, which means once you get the additional one off of the graveyard effect of probably the Collapse Serpent, you can shuffle it back with Saruya for free advantage. Chaos Dragon Levineer is usually how we're getting Eclipse Wyvern banished, because it shows up at that point in the combo, and Omni Dragon Brotar is usually how we're getting to Eclipse Wyvern, uh, but not always. We've got Dark 
Marcus Diabolos, Lord of the Lair, and double Fantastical Dragon Phantasmay, the single piece of interaction for our opponent's setup turns. Usually we're just aiming to push through whatever they've accomplished, but Fant does double duty as a special summonable monster off of the copy of Surya Skulldred that also protects our board. Finally, we are of course on three copies of Sekka's Light, which is just Pot of Greed with Upside. In the side, we've got three Lancia, two No Material, three Gamma, and a Driver. Sanifon the Sky Prison for matchups in which you really want an Abyss Dweller, three Twin Twister, and two Eradicator Epidemic Virus. In the extra, we've got Thunder Dragon Colossus, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy, because we are playing a ton of eights, Magius, Agrippin, LP, Pisti, Hieratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres, Phoenix, Unicorn, Land Phosphorus. This comes up in very particular setups, two Saruya Skull Dread, and a Triple Burst Dragon for Arrows reasons. Here's Alex with our last deck before we release the floodgates of Orcist. Ladies and gentlemen, officially, welcome to Toss Format. We have now seen the release of Dark Neostorm, and now all of the decks, Thunder, Orcus, Sky Striker, and Salomon Great are here, and it's going to be an absolute blast. We're going to start with this matchup of Salomon Great versus Danger Thunder, because I don't think we've ever shown this matchup. I think we've done every other configuration of the non-Orcus decks except this, and next episode, we'll show off Orcus going against Sky Striker, because we did Orcus versus Salomon Great, I believe, a few episodes back, even though it wasn't in their full power power state with Dingirsu in the meta. But we're seeing Salomon Great. Let's be honest. You guys seen this deck before. Let's do the card by card real quick, and we'll talk about if there's anything new. Of course, we have a ton of hand traps, including Ash Blossom and Phantasme, as well as Ghost Ogre. Only one copy of Debug in here, and then we have Falco, Foul, Triple Foxy, which I think is a bit excessive, but for consistency, it's fine. Triple Gazelle, of course, Double Jack Jaguar, and only two Spinny. For the spells, we have Cosmic Cyclone. Cyclone's actually quite good, because if you think about it in this particular meta, except for Danger Thunder specifically, against Orcus, you're going to be able to hit stuff like Crescendo, you can hit Babel, you can hit their Fog Blades, and banishing them is kind of relevant in that regard. Against Striker, you can hit any of their powerful spell cards, and even in the Mirror Match, being able to banish like a Rage or a War so they can't recover it with Sunlight Wolf is actually quite good. We have Double Synet Mining, which is new out of uh, the Dual Power set. This allows us to actually just have a much more consistent Salomon Great deck, so I'm happy to have that. We have Foolish Burial, which is just basically a starter in this deck. Fusion of Fire, still a card that we did play in Salomon Great, unfortunately, but it's a way to OTK because we don't have have stuff like access code yet. Transcode Talker uh, is in this deck, and that's another way to get there. And so we are on some of the new technology for Salomon Great, but we'll get to that point when we do. Of course, we have Double Desires for Consistency, Triple Circle, One Sanctuary, and Double Will. We've upped this because this card is actually just absurd. And then Triple Imperm, a Rage, and a Roar. For the extra, of course, we're selling the Violet Chimera for the Fusion of Fire, the Abyss Dweller, and the Mirage Stallion. The fact that this deck can uh, make Dweller is actually quite relevant, considering there's a lot of graveyard-reliant decks at this point. So Turn 1 Dweller, it's not the easiest to make, but it is something Something that's an option, I would say like 50% of the time. So that's pretty nice. Then for the uh, the links, we just basically have the stuff that we always do. We have Hita, we have Nightmare Phoenix, we have the Triple Bay Links, Double Heat Leo, Triple Sunlight Wolf, and then we have Transco Talker and Update Jammer. This is like sort of the way to OTK with this deck. If you uh, are able to use Transco Talker, or excuse me, use Update Jammer to summon Transco Talker and then revive Update Jammer, you can get like a really high amount of damage in really quickly. This is like bootleg access code if you want to look at it that way. And obviously access code's way better, but that's to come out for several more sets. Then for the side deck, of course, we have Triple Lancia because there's a lot of banishing decks at this point. Double Drone Lockbird, I can understand this just because depending on what matchups you're worried about most, this does stop like half the decks in this format. Baylor's pretty nice as well. Salomon Great Paro is here solely for time because we are under the new time rules now, so that's kind of frustrating, but I get it. Starving Denim's kind of cute because we're playing Super Poly, so with any deck that plays Darks like Danger Thunder or even Orcus, you can just summon Starving Denim, which is hilarious, but also you can Super Poly into Violet Chimera with your monster monsters and an opposing link monster as well, triple twin twister, and of course one imperial order because this card's legal for some reason. So in any case, I cannot wait to play some more Salomon Great. Hopefully we can take down Danger Thunder and it's going to be a hell of a time. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Joseph, we are finally here. We have arrived officially at toss format and the best part is we're not starting with Orc. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're here, depending on who you ask. It, it is so frustrating I, that Toss is like not a format, but more a vibe. Exactly. And I think it's important that we did it in this exact way. We went yeah. back and looked at some of our previous matches. We didn't want to give people matches that we've technically already played out. And one of those is... 
Danger versus Salomon Great, which hasn't been done yet. We could have done Orcus versus Salomon Great or some other configuration, but we've done that before. And so we want to give you guys something fresh. Next episode, though, you will get all the Ding Gear Sue your heart contents. You ready, Joseph? I am ready. All right, let's out the Patreon. It is Meet the Best Bout Machine Izzy. Thank you for the support. That is a very long name. You ready, buddy? Yes. I rolled a three for the number of stars on every single card I'm playing in my deck. Threw up a four. Let's make it happen, Fuck. Captain. Fuck. All right, we lose. All right, this was well, fun. I I'm going to go take a nap. I could screw this up. Uh, and you play That's hand true. traps. Don't. I play a lot of hand complain. traps. I play a lot of hand traps. That's yeah. kind of why I was glad we got to do this particular matchup. Best of luck, Ooh, buddy. Yeah, best of luck to you, too. Yeah, you know, the thing about this deck is, um, ooh, God. Yeah, well, I'm really happy I opened this way. Breakout deck of Knoxville. Super excited to show it off. And, uh, you know, it's going to start with a pot of greed. Yeah, it seems okay. You uh, you okay with this? I mean, I'm not really, but... Now you know, you know how Gage feels on, uh, <laughs> on uh, Prague. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, let's go Nessie. Sure. We'll snipe it. It's fine. I mean, uh, nice. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it turns <laughs> out I've been resolving this card wrong the entire yeah, time. Yeah, you've been specialing from the deck the whole time. I thought it was Jackalope. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, let's go get a guy. We let's would never cheat in this series. We would never intentionally, cheat. Intentionally, <laughs> intentionally. Intentionally, intentionally. But, we, you know, we will cheat, and I intend to. I, lo I love how everyone is so, like, they're so invested. Like, oh, my God, SIBO or MBT is the biggest cheater ever. It's like, you're right. We're doing this for fun. No, you're Relax. Cool. I'm, and you're I'm, right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. Uh, okay, I'm going to go for Sekka's Light here. I'm pretty sure I don't need Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. I don't know. It seems like a pretty good card. It could come I do up. play Lynx. It could come exclusively. up. Exclusively. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's insane. Okay, uh, let's just decide. I'm just gonna start deciding. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get going. Um, let's go Danger Chussy Noko. Okay, we're just gonna hit out of your hand, just like with the Nessie. It's easy. This one. That's unbelievable, dog. You are fucking with me. <laughs> I, I gotta start drawing cards here at some point. Uh, Jackalope. I'm just gonna hit it again. It's I mean, three maybe. for three. Okay, that. One. It gets even easier every time. You ready? This yeah. one. Okay, thank God. Uh, that was Sekka's Light. Oh, okay. That sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's not Actually, I'm kind of glad I hit that, because next turn, you would have been able to fire that. So Yeah. All right. How do I want to do this? Shit. There's really just a lot of options here. Uh, let's go Nessie. <coughs> All right. 25%. I'll go three for four. Oh, come on, dog. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say about this. I don't think I can win from this position. You don't get to resolve that effect either. No, Good I thing. don't. No, I'm pr I'm pretty pissed off about it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, okay. Bear in mind that you chose to play this deck, so I you can did, only blame I did. yourself. Well, I didn't think you would hit four ten percents in a row. <laughs> Three out of four, sir. Excuse me. Oh, I yeah. didn't hit the jackalope. Okay, this is going to look really weird. Uh, we're going to banish Nessie for Wyver Burster. I mean, that works. Yeah. That's all right. We're going to tribute summon Dragon Dark and trigger Wyver Burster. Yeah, that's awkward. Okay, sure. Yeah, see, I'm not happy about it. Uh, and then we're going to summon Collapse Serpent. You're just going to try to Saryuja your way out of this? Yes, we are, sir. Yes, we are. Uh, let's go Saryuja 1, uh, Dragon Roar 2, Collapse Serpent 3. Uh, yeah, we got another one. It's not at 1 yet. We'll grab Dark here. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, wow. Well, that's interesting. We're going to go Thunder Dragon Hawk. Target roar. I mean, activate, I guess. Sh sure. Anything here? Nope. Colossus. He has appeared. Dragon Dark. Uh, we'll grab Thunder Dragon. Sure. Uh, Thunder Dragon. That's fine. Like it matters. Uh, okay. And we're actually even going to summon this to a zone that makes sense. Uh, Skeldred. Brotar. You seen this card? I have seen this card. This is out of Dark Neostorm, is it not? It is out of Dark Neostorm. And it is... Oh, baby, it's out. We're going to activate the effect. Uh, we're going to pitch okay. Thunder Dragon and target itself. Sure. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab uh, Levianir. Okay. That is a Dark Dragon. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're going to go Brotar to the grave for Elpy. Not a fan of this. Uh, LP effect. I am a fan of this, Ogre. You're Ogring LP. Well, that really expedites the process. Now we got options. We're going to go Brotar here. Sure. What a stupid card, right? 
Yeah. I wish I'd summon this uh, Colossus in a different zone. Oh, it still works. One, two, three for Levy and Ear. Uh, it's random, so go ahead and pick. Um, maybe I can get some uh, some of your danger luck there. Uh, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna do this in a way that makes sense. We'll put him here. Okay. All right. Uh, Colossus, Pisty, Agrippin. Agrippin. Yep. Uh, and then seals. Go ahead. All right. Uh, this probably isn't winnable. Main one. Yep. The uh, hell are we doing? Anything? Now nah, you got it. We'll go to game two. All right. <laughs> So I had an Ash in my hand, too. Uh, I had two, actually. You shuffled one away with the Levy near. I didn't really, like, maybe I should have just asked the Sekka just straight up. It just feels bad. I wanted to just save it for something else. Yeah. And so, I don't know. Maybe that could, it's it's always such a tough call when you just lead Sekka. Um, well, you want to, what well, you double hand Ash, trip obviously, is, is the Saruya, but, like, there's never a scenario where that shit is going to be CL1. Because it's going to get chain blocked every single time. And then, like, LP's okay, too, but, like, trying to, like, ogre LP. Like, I thought your hand was weak because I was actually sniping a lot of the dangers, no, it was but insane. I don't know. <laughs> it was crazy regardless. Yeah. Uh, maybe this will be better for us. Yep. Uh, I guess I'll start in draw phase with Circle because we can be a good player. Where's my draw? Yeah. Uh, we'll get Gazelle. Yep. And then stand by main. I guess let's start with desires. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep. Okay. That literally did nothing. <laughs> Fantastic. That's desires. Let's go sign at mining. Uh, this is going to suck that I have to pitch. <laughs> I guess I will pitch another pot of desire. Sure. <laughs> so this gives you some insight into how our hand's looking. Uh, we will grab. That's how this is playing out. Huh? The All right. We'll grab spinning. Go, baby. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about I it. I won't. I will go spinning. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Bay Lynx. Yep. I will go Bay Lynx one, Gazelle two. Mm -hmm. Of course, we don't banish this. That's good. Who would have thought? Uh, then we'll go Gazelle effect on summon. Right. That's okay. We'll try for Gamma. Gross. Mm -hmm. Get the driver. Okay. That's terrible. Well, I have Will, All right. thankfully. So we'll get Gazelle back. Yep. Unfortunately, you already negated the effect, so. Yeah, go off, King. Oh, uh, we'll get Spinny with its effect, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. A Mirage, <clears throat> Mirage effect. Mm -hmm. No other real way to do it, so I guess we just do the usual stuff. Let's get Jack Jaguar. Yep. Go for our good old friend, Sunlight Wolf. Mm -hmm. We will go, uh, we'll relink the wolf. Mm -hmm. Uh, use the well, you second gotta, effect. You gotta put we'll this, the guy out first. Oh, sorry. I put the field spell out. K is fine. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Second effect. We'll get back the circle. Yep. Uh, we'll go Jack Jaguar effect. Put back the Sunlight Wolf. Yep. Trigger the first effect. Get Gazelle to hand. Yep. Um, I don't really just want to leave Jack Jaguar here. You make the third also, Sunlight kind of guy. Wolf. Yeah, I'll, ma I'll make another. Mm. I'll make another Bay Lynx, I guess. Sure. Just tiny. It's the only thing I don't like. Uh, we'll set three. Jesus Christ. Let's avoid blasting fuse. And uh, over to you. All right. End phase. These guys leave. Anything in draw? Yep. Nope. Stand by me. Yep. Nessie. All right. <sighs> we got to get lucky. All right. Thank God. That's a disgusting hit. Yeah. Uh, Wyvern. Mandatory. Uh, hey, you ever heard of this guy? <clears throat> Unfortunately. You ever heard of this guy? God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That's really not what I wanted to see at all. Uh, second slide. I, I think you're lying. No, it's no, it's not. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, that's a little better. Um, uh, let's go Nessie again. <coughs> that one. Mm, okay. Okay. Chessie, no that seems like it went pretty well for you. Yep. It would seem that way, wouldn't it? Nessie, Chessie for Phoenix. Uh, we will target this one. Uh, I'll chain it. It's circle. Fucking hell, man. You're killing me. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, we'll choose to search. I bet. Uh, we will just grab another spinning. Sure. Uh, let's go hawk for roar. Anything here? Um, Colossus. Okay. Uh, dark or roar rather. Yep. Getting ahead of myself a little bit. <coughs> Smidge. Mm. Um, let's go dark one. Unicorn two, and that's the card I drew off Seca. Excellent. Uh, targeting with you. I don't know, man. Let's do this one. I guess I'll just imperm your Colossus. That does matter. What are you talking about? That matters. I guess not really, but it's fine. All right, we'll grab um a Thunder Dragon Duo here. Um, off the dark, yeah, sure. Oh my God! What the heck? This deck isn't playing access code. Nah. <laughs> All right. Uh, imagine access code being out already. God, I wish. I can only I can only imagine it's so hard, baby. All right, uh, Eclipse Wyvern. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, one, two. Sorry, Hawk. Uh, Levineer. Sure. Effect. I guess <laughs> I'll imperm that as well. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, sure. I know the cards in your hand. They are you do. Gazelle you know everything. Spinny. So all I have Correct. to do here, all I have to do is OTK. How the fuck do I do that? <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Through double bay links, that would be impressive. Uh, well, I mean, you have a bay links on field. You just walk into that guy. Sure. Let's go uh, Danger Jackalope. Oh my God, you hit it. Oh my God. Shocker. All right, this one does what I thought Nessie did, right? We'll, <laughs> yes. We'll go grab, uh, I don't know, Nessie. Now we overlay for um, Galaxy Tomahawk. Draco Sack? Yeah. One, two. Oh, we can't do Nessie. We got to do a different name. Right, because it has to be different names. <laughs> uh, yeah. well, let's just go grab, I think I have a Chessie in here. Yeah. Two. The unicorn. Three, four. Sorry. Ah, that's exactly what I wanted to see, baby. Uh, whoop. Whoop. All the Crusadias showed up now. Uh, oh my god, we only have... What the fuck? How did this happen? We have no lights in Grave? I'm gonna be good. Ooh. <laughs> Banish this instead. What the fuck am I thinking? I'm not used to chaos, man. This guy. Sure. This guy. Uh, who? So what I'm supposed to do here... We'll go rather than LP Pisty? Ugh, weird. Yeah, your arrows are a bit fucky. No, this works. What's the problem here? Oh, no, I meant with Elpy. Oh, yeah. No, the arrow works for Elpy, too. It's just the card I want to get is Brotar, and I want the Wyver Burster on field before I do that. Oh, I see. I don't know. This is crazy that I'm allowed to do this. It's a must first be special summon. Wyver Burster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do it like this. Uh, We should go combat first, and then we'll do it. Yeah. Damn, but that's not OTK, though. Or is it? Uh, combat. Sure. God, you got some big ass dudes, and you can body block with the one as well. Okay, let's do uh, let's do the numbers because I haven't yet. I just kind of assumed these guys weren't making it. So RUJ is pumping all of them. Just these three, I think. All right, let's go to combat. We'll go Levianir over. Uh, is Pisty or Baylinks once per turn? It is. Okay, let's go Pisty over Baylinks. Sure. So I'll take eight. Uh, let's go Colossus into Wolf. So that would be uh, eight more. Yep. Uh, let's go Levy into Mirage Stalio. Uh, so you've attacked with those two. So this would be 13. So I'd be down to 51. Uh, and then I would die. So I have to protect with Bailings here, which sucks, because then you can do over Stalio. I think I might just be dead anyway, but... I don't really think I have much of a choice, so sure, I'll take 13. Yeah, we'll duo over Stalio. Yeah, and we'll go. I'll take 11. Duo. I'm just dead. You don't have to. I'm literally dead. Oh, wow. Dead. Okay. <laughs> I could, like, I could block with Gazelle, but, like, there's I, there's no coming back at that point. That's just impossible. Yeah, this is, so. um, well, I really wasn't expecting to be able to OTK from that position <laughs> into three yeah. back row, but. Uh, like I said, I could do this. Yeah. I mean, I, then, like, it chips a, a hit, but then I lose the Gazelle, and then uh, I have literally a spinny a will, which you can still do guard dragon stuff main phase two to yeah. like be able to insulate against anything that I can do, which is that's main, why I'm, I already know this is main over, two. The so. line is, um, we go, uh, hope hard Harbing, for the uh, will. Harbinger. Yep. These, yep. These two off for agar pen, uh, Take hot red hot and that red. just blanks something. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yep. Jesus Christ. Okay. Want to try again? Yeah. What an Game annoying three. ass deck. <laughs> 
I will say my hand wasn't exactly like yeah, it didn't super seem, great. It didn't seem gamma... fantastic. It was kind of like, okay, that gazelle's got to make it happen. I thought you would set like Rage Roar, and I was like, oh my god, I lose. Like, I'm so fucked. I wish. All right, I got no I hand wish. traps. This is kind of why they... This is also kind of why they call the deck Salomon Average at times, <laughs> because uh, you see hands like that, you're like, uh, it could be better. Uh, we'll go Foolish Dumps, uh, Spinny, Special Gazelle off of that, if that's okay. Yep. <laughs> that's. I mean, uh, it's okay it's, in like a legality sense, like in a, in a <laughs> mental health sense. No, it's pretty fucking far from okay. Okay, so we'll get the Spinny back. This kind of, bl uh, I have to use Gazelle actually. Let's not be terrible. Uh, we'll dump Roar. It's not great because I don't get to make the Bailings first here, but that's just kind of how it goes. Uh, we'll go Mirage Stallio. Yep. Uh, we'll detach. Let's get, it's not <sighs> going to be fantastic no matter which way we slice it. Let's do... That's terrible. Nah, that's not going to work. Okay, we'll do Jaguar. <clears throat> uh, Jaguar for Baylinx. Uh, Baylinx effect. We'll get the spell. Activate. So I could re I'm trying to see if there's any way I could preserve Mirage Stallio, and I'm just like not exactly sure if a way exists. I'm also straight up cheating because we're in Master Wow! Wow! Yeah, that's fine. We're cheating. We're <laughs> cheating. Okay. So we'd be here... Uh, I wouldn't have this yet. We have to go Sunlight Wolf here. Uh, we can go Jack Jaguar effect, shuffle the Mirage Stallio back. Mm -hmm. Link for Bay Lynx. Activate. There we go. We got it. Okay. Cheating resolved. We're fine. We're fine. The comments already probably raged about it. Uh, and then we just go these two into another wolf. Uh, we go wolf. We get our roar. And then we set three and pray. Uh, okay. Stand by. Oh, right on fucking time. Dog. Oh, also, I forgot to trigger the first wolf effect yeah, go too. For it. So uh, we'll we'll get we'll get Gazelle back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nice Phantasma. All right, three for three. Uh, to be fair, I still have to kill you. So, uh, you know I'm what? You a sick roar here, Fuck baby. It. We're oh, that's good. I'm gonna ash it instead. All right, we're gonna go Seca's light here. Yeah. Um, see a Phantasma. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see what we get here. All right. Let's uh, normal solar. Solar effect. Solar to dump, huh? Yeah. Uh, do I roar that? How does that make you do feel, white like, boy? Uh, I don't like it. So I got four other cards leading on solar. Yeah. I don't have it. I'm just going to be honest with you. There is not another normal summon in this deck. <laughs> there's not. I know there's not. Fuck it. I'll gamble. Uh -oh. All right. I'm going to be honest with you. This hand may not make it out. <laughs> Uh, let's go. I figure with the way this has been playing out that this actually isn't the worst. No, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack you, dude. I how do you do this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go get Jackalope. You get to add I'm adding, Good. I'm adding. Okay, it's not that bad. Um Wyver Burster. Sure. <clears throat> Him. Let's go yep. Striker Dragon. Oh, whoop, getting ahead of myself. I was gonna say, what's Striker Dragon? <laughs> uh, is there a way I can do what I want here? There is. All right, Pisty, you ain't doing shit this game. Yeah, sure. Uh, this guy. Yep. I gotta find Rage. I literally am dead if I don't find Rage. Oh wait, I'm Dragon Locked <laughs> at this point. You are Dragon Locked, uh -oh. yeah. Oh, that's gonna make this pretty hard. Um. Can't do Agar Pain. Because you're still Dragon Locked. Ooh, if I had kept Pisty there, I could use your little zone. Uh, Collapse Serpent. All right. I really didn't want it to have to come down to this, but uh, Jackalope. What do you mean, buddy? What are you scared of? Oh, you know, <laughs> you fucking know what I'm scared of. I needed that one. Oh, uh, man. That is not good. That's the worst thing it could okay. have been. Fuck. Oh, yeah, you got it. Hand is really? Wyver, Wyver, Eclipse. Oh, my God. Do you have, do you have a rage yeah. set? Okay. You do, right? Uh, I do not have rage set. Yeah, I'm still so. dead, I think. Is it like Imperm? I have Imperm, yeah. That's enough for sure. No! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was a fast one. I feel like we got through that pretty quickly. Yeah, the games, the games for this deck are, are they're not long, <laughs> if you, you say that. No.
Uh, you either send them into the sun or you fall into the sun yourself. You want to? Uh, <laughs> I feel like that's the Danger Thunder way. You want to do a, a quick once over of, of what you're playing? I'm pretty sure it hasn't changed at all. Uh, it really hasn't. The only real inclusion now is Cynet mining. I don't think we've showed this off yet. This, I believe, dual was power. a card out of dual power, and it's it's so it's, uh, literally just a rota for Cybers. And uh, guess what? That's <laughs> what the entire deck is. And it's nice because you're able to trigger Gazelle like freely if you uh, not like this hand or any other hand. I've produce this episode but mm -hmm. if you have any other salmon great and gazelle um what's also cool is you don't even yeah, need, you don't gazelle, need gazelle actually you, you can it. search gazelle yeah and on resolution gazelle checks that a salmon great was set and it still works so sign up mining plus any salmon great lets you summon gazelle and is literally your whole combo by itself which is pretty sick yeah. it adds a layer of consistency because a lot of the times if the deck doesn't get to gazelle that's like kind of where it all falls apart gazelle is kind of like the main choke point otherwise it's just going to be a struggle to you to get the sunlight wolf and just get your trap online and anything like it's the repeatable salmon great that everyone knows and loves uh this first place list was playing cosmic cyclone i think this was expecting to see a metric shit ton of uh both salmon great and striker and not as much danger thunder and so that's sort of what the board plan was for and uh, Cosmic obviously being incredibly good at being able to snipe out Roars or against Striker, you can hit like their area zero. It's good against Orcus their, too, you um, get their Babel. Yeah, Orcus, yeah, you hit the Crescendo. Yeah, because that's, we haven't seen that yet, obviously, but next episode we will. Yeah. It's, I, I think it's like a, it's a, oh, it's a, it, you hit three of the four decks, right? And then and games two and three, you just side it out and it's totally fine. Yeah. Other than that, it's just Salmon Great. There's really like not much else to discuss. Your deck, however, has changed quite a bit. And I think this might be like the final iteration we see of this deck for the time being. And it's funny, because we didn't get to see any of like the actual new stuff aside from Brotar in your deck. <laughs> yeah, so this is as close to final form as I think the deck is allowed to get. Um, and it's it's insane. It's a well-oiled machine. You've seen this deck for a couple of weeks, and uh, this is the best it's looked, the most capable. Uh, extra deck space is exceptionally tight, but never did I feel like, oh, I wish I was playing X. Uh, there's like one flex slot that we use for like land foe for very specific setups. Um, Sekka's Light remains a house. Brotar gives the deck this level of searchability that's unthinkable. Like, this can grab everything from, uh, like, uh, OTK tools like Chaos Dragon, Levianir, uh, to combo pieces, provided you already have, like, Thunders in rotation, to... Uh, Such a crazy To card. Phantasme. Like, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, outside of that, uh, the other thing that this deck was doing that we didn't get to show off too much, and I talked about in... Uh, the uh, profile proper is the Crusadias, though notably, yeah. um, people were not playing a ton of Crusadias. Uh, this deck is on four total, no. and the theory is you go Reclusia, which is also a removal spell um, when you're going second, into uh, Magius, and then summon any guy, like a Wyver Burster, to the Magius link point, search Draco, yep. and Draco adds back Reclusia. So that's like... Uh, an additional uh, piece of material in Reclusia's special. Uh, Draco is a dragon, which really sets up for uh, yep. exceptionally easy, like uh, LP Agrippin lines. Here, for instance, if you have uh, summoned like a, a white dragon wyver burster, it's just like a hop, skip, and a jump to um, uh, like an LP setup. Uh, later on, this yep. deck will get uh, Crusadia Spatha which really expedites the process, but at a point where the deck doesn't really need anything. Like, this is as good mm -hmm. as it's going to get, uh, essentially. And it's real. It's really good. It is a force. It, you know, it performed exceptionally well at uh, YCS Knoxville for a reason. It's fascinating, though, because, like, even... It, it did win the event, don't get me wrong, but, like, during, like, the early stages of Toss format and everything like that, it's funny that this wasn't, like, the most represented deck. I think Salmon Great and Striker were still well more represented comparatively. I think conversion-wise, uh, you know, Danger Thunder obviously had probably a better conversion rate just because of, you know, the top players that are all on it. But uh, it's fascinating that with how powerful the deck this is, that it did didn't see more representation, but I think it's just because there was sort of a flavor of deck for everyone during this period, mm -hmm. which is why people love the format so much. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout outs to Shadow1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play, Medulce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Manhoban, Draconic Little Fade Leaf, Peyton McGrath, Dylan Rare Hunter, Jesse Wood, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady. I've tried reading cards before. It was horrible and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy. Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community, soon, cancel by all committees soon, cancel by all players soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, and Konami, when are we getting a Yu-Gi-Oh! lore anime? Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.